I really chose the wrong village to settle down next to. Hi, hello, welcome. We are back and some things have happened since last time. I've done some work off camera, so now we have another shed. We have a lightning rod because the weather was doing some weird stuff. We have expanded the storage area because I've been mining. I put in a better smelting system and I have been working away. This this row here is for tough and it is um, full. Uh, actually, let's see on my stats here. Items times mind. Yeah, let me explain. I have a diary entry for this. I really should stop proofreading these before I start reading. <coughs> Entry 7, day 73. Yet again, it has been quite a few days since my last notes. I've been preoccupied with my ventures underground, my search for coal and precious rocks. As I previously found such rich diamond veins hiding in tuff, I needed to find out if this was mere chance, or maybe I had stumbled upon a pattern. To test this hypothesis, I spent many days and plenty of pickaxes removing any and all tuff I could find. To my disappointment, I did not find any more of the huge diamond veins, but still plenty to get me by for quite some time moving forward. I am holding off on mining them though, as I would like to find a more efficient way of doing so. As I still have quite a bit of material stored, I am not in need of more right now. In my escapades underground, I have also come across something incredibly strange. A zombie that very much resembles the people living in the nearby village. This one seems to have been a fisherman. Does this mean that all the zombies were people once? Do they become less recognisable as time passes? For now, I am keeping the zombie fishermen at my dwelling in the hopes that maybe I can find a way to help them. This world sure is full of mysteries and peril. While I am still rather confused by it all, I cannot wait to explore and discover more. Well, that sounds awfully exciting, doesn't it? And as I said, I've been mining a heck of a lot of tough because I wanted to see if I could find any more of those crazy diamond veins. I think I found one with 10 diamond ore blocks and one with 10 or 12. They were huge. So I started mining some down here and I still have a bit to go. And I know I found one around here somewhere. Hold on. I still have some spaces that I could mine out. Let's actually check this one. Here we go, let's see if it's more than one. It usually is. Oh, is this a dud? Is this the first dud? <gasps> it looks like... Oh, it's not a dud. It is two. It is three. Yeah, that's in line with what I found mostly. The ones that lie in or next to tough are usually three at least. So, you know, if you have tools with better efficiency than I do, uh, just whacking out the tough is a faster way of finding diamonds, perhaps, than having to grind away at the deep slate, because we all know that takes forever. And also, bonus, you might find an iron vein. I have found so much iron doing this that I have no issue with just going through these pickaxes like no tomorrow, because I have so much iron, it's not a problem. <laughs> Well, I think you get the idea. I do not have the patience right now to do this, so I'm gonna see if I can find the other diamonds that I've already unearthed. And also, where did I get out? Is it here? Where am I? I'm lost. Help. I know I found some diamonds around here somewhere before. Was it down here, maybe? Well, I'll go where I know I can find some and show you. <laughs> Ta -da! I have made the jump into the big hole and you can already see where I have been working away. 
like a little busy bee. Geronimo. So all of this area here was filled up with tuff before. As you can see, we have a two. This was right on the edge of it. Here we have a four. Here we have a three, five, another four. And then we have on the other side, we have a three, another three, another four. I will leave all of these here for now and hopefully it won't be too long until I have a fortune pickaxe. Of course, I would rather use that than um, a regular one. And I am lost in this hole. This has happened so many times over the past few days because I just cannot find my way through these passageways. 15 minutes later. Where am I? 2,000 years later. This is the way! <sighs> and also, I went a bit further in this huge cave and found something really cool looking. This. Doesn't this look amazing? This is so incredibly big. And with a big lava pool in the middle, like, she. We have the dripstone up there, and then we have the mineshaft right above. So like anything could drop down on us here. And of course some diamonds peeking out. I almost looked at that guy. Yeah, I really like this cave. But for now all I'm using it for is extra storage. Because we waste nothing. But I haven't only been mining tough. I also now have plenty of regular coal. So let's go visit our friend, the armorer, again. Let's see where we get to today. There you are, my friend. Nani? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Did my friend die and you take his place and you don't even have... Why do you not want coal? I really chose the wrong village to settle down next to. However, we do have a backup plan. And to illustrate this plan, I am going to make some maps. Oh, I see now we have some maps. And now I'm just gonna run around for a bit. Hold on. Alright, so I didn't have enough leather for all of my maps to be put in item frames, but this is enough for me to get my point across. So this is us, this is where we are, where we live, our cute little home. This is the armorer's house. That is now not the same armorer. My friend, they are dead. But if you then look over here, there is the village with the maybe church and it is very close and we know that there are farmers here and hopefully there are some other tradespeople too so we'll go check out what they have and can help us with also i realized now that i could just rearrange these and actually be able to add my final item frame let's see there we go and here is the portal also this looks so funky so let's see who we can find in this other village who we could hopefully at least trade with for some emeralds. <gasps> no, not you. But we should have a weapons with. Hello, where are you? <gasps> well, look at this. What do we have here? Do we have a potential buyer of some coal? And I will give you your job if you want it. Or do you take this job now? You do. 
Do you want coal? No! But also, yes! I will come back to you once I have some money. Bye! <gasps> A toolsmith? Yes, I will come back to you as well as soon as I have some money. I guess the only way I will get some money is for me to trade food. And so far none of you want any food that I actually have, so that's great. I have carrots, thank lord. I am about to become your most loyal customer. And I should probably get them some bread while I'm at it. You know, for goodwill. <clears throat> okay, I guess it's time to farm up some carrots. Okay, we have quite a few carrots. Let's make some bread and also bring like a stack of pumpkins in case we get to the next step of trading. Bread. Let's go to the village. <gasps> Hello, would you like some bread? Mm, is that tasty? Yes. Would you like some bread? Get to the bread. Yes, there you go. Is it tasty? Where's the carrot guy? Carrot guy? Ca carrot guy? Where are you? There you are. Look at all these carrots I have for you. Oh my goodness. And you want pumpkins. Oh my days. You make me so happy, truly. Uh, well, I guess I have to, don't I? Do I prefer stone shovels? So, yeah, I prefer stone shovels, so I stone pickaxes. Do you want iron? Sure, I could get you some iron. And I would like two swords. Now I can make myself a decent sword. So that's nice. Mmm, a good sword. Yes, I like it a lot. And I guess we could just put the shovels, or at least some of them in here for now. Yes, please. Now where's the pumpkin guy? And now we have more money. And now we can purchase more things. And now we can go back home and be happy with our accomplishments today. We made some new friends, got ourselves some new deals. That is good. So it seems that we might not be able to purchase any good armor anytime soon. We do however seem to be able to buy tools and weapons of higher quality pretty soon. So I think I will just simply make myself some diamond armor for now. Not quite enough for a full set, but we do know where we have more, so let's just go get them. Oh, there we go, looking snazzy. Yeah. Okay, now I actually would like to make an armor stand for my first set of armor. Eventually. I want to right there. Yes. Glorious, magnificent, precious, trustworthy, beautiful. It's very grey. And still no rain. Also I did figure out that it's probably something has bugged with my optifying. Um so it's <laughs> There's just no sound when it rains. Thunder I can hear just fine, but rain? Nuh uh. And it makes me sad. Okie dokie, let's see. I'm gonna grab it all. Why not? Go big or go home, right? So let's see if we can do some more trading with the toolsmith. Because I kinda want diamond pickaxes. And I wanna see what enchantments they'll have. Meow meow meow. Are you here? No. Are you here? Yes. 
you have not updated your trick. Don't worry, I can wait. I was about to say I have all the time in the world, but I really don't. I have to go to bed soon. <laughs> but I have time to wait for you to visit your workbench. While we wait, weekly update of my life. I'm currently four days in a six day work week. It is Friday and I'm also working Saturday, Sunday this week. The only day I had off was Wednesday and I was knackered. Meaning I was sleeping most of the day <laughs> and the rest of the day I like, spent eight hours straight just reading some random manga. I didn't have the energy to record anything until today. But as you can probably tell, <laughs> I'm still pretty tired. So let's see. Hey, editing me. You managed to get this up around the weekend. Regardless, good job. I'm proud of you. And also, it's really hot here again. It's been like 30 degrees Celsius today and it's gonna be that all weekend. And of course, that also means that this episode will probably be a bit delayed, but that's okay. And oh, also, 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 thank you guys. We are now above 10 subscribers. It just sort of happened. After the last episode, suddenly there was a spike in views. F for this channel size, it was a spike in views. A couple more people subscribed and now we're above 10. That feels really fun. So thank you so much for that. That makes me really happy. Thank you so much. Um, is this guy just never coming to work? What's happening? Oh, it's night time. I am not the smartest cookie. I really am not. Uh, smite. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, it's gonna be so much faster fighting mobs with this awesome sword. Well, let's see if he'll come to work. In the meantime, I'm just gonna grab a pancake. I want a snack. Jeez, I'm so sweaty. Also, a pro tip for everyone who lives in like Europe where we don't have AC. Uh, if you have one of those seed pillows, so like the one you can hear me having in my hands right now, um, instead of putting it in the microwave, put it in your freezer a couple of hours before going to bed. It is magical. Have you started work? May I trade with you? Oh yes. Now what will you have? Ooh. Oh, well. Yes! Oh, I'm breaking. That's not too bad. I'll take it. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. Well, this is at least gonna last me for a bit. Heck yes. You didn't want iron. No, but I can. <gasps> oh, heck yeah! Let's see what you got. What you got? Come on. Ooh. I'll take it. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, that could be fun. I will surely come back to do business in the future. Thank you very much. So there we go, I have sorted out all my stuff. I think it's time to do some writing. Entry 8, day 79. I have good news and I have bad news. After I'd gathered quite a bit of coal for trades with the armourer, I went to visit them, only to find that they were gone. A new armourer ran the business in their place, but they did not fancy the fuel I had brought. Fortunately, there's another village nearby and I have managed to establish a fruitful relationship with several of the people there. While they are currently not able to trade me armor, they do make some fine weapons and tools. Thus I've been able to spend the diamonds I've gathered to make some sturdier protective gear. 
I feel that things might run along a bit more smoothly going forward. And with that, I bid thee farewell. Goodbye!